So here we are again, PCA Sim Racing Fun Series, hosted by Wild West Zones. We are in week five of eight, so we're now officially over halfway through, and we are at the Hockenheim Ring Grand Prix Circuit. Um, this is a fun race. I love this track, and I, and I found something really interesting in my practice is that I love this track because I'm fast on this track when I can see this track. This race is going to be a little bit different, as it's going to be right at dusk, um, which means that the sun will have gone down, light gets dim, and in fact, by the time we're expected to finish this race, it will be dark. And that creates a whole host of problems, um, seeing your marks until they're right up on you for your turn in, for your braking, for all of that stuff uh, becomes a greater challenge. So this is going to be an interesting race. Um, I found that I've, I slow down on the order of a second, second and a half per lap the darker it gets. And I don't even realize it. I, I, I think I just sort of naturally, I'm looking, controlling the car and, you know, driving, but I slow way, way down. So that's going to be my challenge tonight is to translate uh, what I know to be true into how I drive um, and drive a little bit by uh, instinct <laughs> where I can. Uh, tonight's race um, is a 50-minute uh, race, which is also 10 minutes longer than our typical regular races. Um, we have a fuel allotment that's 50% of the tank which means we are going to have a required pit stop, only one, um, somewhere along the race. And uh, we're doing lone qualifying tonight, 10-minute uh, qualify, three laps, and a standing start, which is always fun. So sit back, relax, enjoy, uh, grab a cigar, a beer, uh, maybe a, a, a glass of bourbon to watch this unfold for PCA Sport Class. All right, qualified P3 with a 139.4. Not my fastest lap, but I don't need my fastest lap right now. It's a 50 minute race, so I can just sort of hang back, do what I need to do, and uh, go from there. Green, green, green. He's gone off in Nord Curve. Sorry, everybody. You've got one gallon left. Looks like the leader has gone off in Nord Curve. Sorry, everybody. Behind is now 6.3 seconds. Palmer is now leading.
We think P4's gone off in Nord Curve. Okay, Chip, don't be intimidated by this little shit. Make him work for it. Incident in turn 15. It looks like Williams. Looks like P4 has been there and spits care happen. Andrew, go by me, man. Thank you. Don't think that was yours, Matt, but we can talk after. It shows me what this is for my side.
hit Chick. I did not hit you. Copy that, Matt. Uh, not what it felt like, but we can talk after. I'm not, it's not important now. behind is catching. The gap's now 0.8.
gap behind is now 2.5. How about safe entry back onto the track? Behind's catching the gaps now, 1.8 seconds. Looks like P2's gone off in Mercedes.
the gap behind is now 1.6 seconds. Heading in. Pit lane speed limit is 31 miles per hour. We haven't got that data. <laughs> 300 feet. 100 feet. Exit's clear. Stay behind the white line. There's an incident in turn 15. It looks like it's Williams.
with the gap to Morgan. Behind is now 12 seconds. We think P5 has binned it in sacks. The car ahead's pitting now. The leader, Palmer, is pitting. That's 20 minutes to go. There's an incident in Nord Curve. We think it might be Palmer. Looks like P4 has binned it in sacks. The gap to Morgan behind is increasing. It's now 1.26.
pitting in. One chip, two eight points, one. Look out for the pit speed limit, engage the limiter. Box in 850 feet. Yeah, I got uh, an incident point uh, black flag from a couple of the incidents that I had earlier in the race. 300 feet. Too bad, I think we're gonna have a nice race here. 100 feet. Track's clear, push, push, push. Always read what the penalty is, boys and girls. It was a drive-through, not a stop-and-go. Gotta do it again. The gap behind is now 7.4. Watch your speed. Activate limiter. Box in 850 feet. We don't have the data. <laughs> 300 feet. 100 feet. <laughs> Exit's clear. Push. <laughs> Hey Jeff, I think you're blinking. The Andrew ahead of me is blinking too. Okay, Chip, 10 minutes to go. That's 10 minutes left.
behind is now 4.7 seconds. Hard to hold it. All right, Chip, you're gaining on this car. The gap is 5.4 seconds. P6 has binned it in sacks. Okay, Chip, five minutes to go, five minutes left. <laughs> the gap ahead is now 1.8.
going away. The gap behind is now 10 seconds. On your right. That's two minutes left, two minutes. Looks like P5's gone off in Mercedes. We think P5 has binned it in turn nine. Looks like P4 has gone off in Nord Curve.
The gap to Williams behind is increasing. It's now 3.4. Four's gone off in Spitzkehr Hairpin. Come on. There's an incident in turn seven. We think it might be Morgan. There's an incident in turn two. It looks like Palmer. Is your car damaged, car? Yeah. All right, I'll stay behind. So that was pretty much a bloodbath. I don't know if I have... I can't recall a uh, more incident-filled race that I have driven since I was driving in the Mazda class um, as a rookie in iRacing. That was just crazy. Um, the thing I did notice is like um, Matt Mardini, um, the incident with him um, looked like he rear-ended me and in coming into the hairpin. It was a net code. Um, going back to looking at the replay, his car actually didn't touch mine. In fact, for him, he didn't get any sort of contact um, uh, notification, no incident points. I got the 4X, um, and of course, I wound up getting kind of pushed a little bit, lost the rear end, and got hit again um, by, I, I believe it was Andrew. Um, to no fault of his own, I, I was out of control and pulled in front of him as he's coming through the hairpin. Um, I didn't get incident points for that. Um, but on the very next lap, I got rear-ended again by someone uh, coming through one of the, the sections where there, there's need, you need to break a little bit um, coming into it and uh, overshot or, or what have you. And I'm not, I'm not sure who it was that rear-ended me there, another 4X. Um, and then, uh, um, of course, the first lap incident um, with Volker. Volker apologized after the race. Um, I, I guess he had some sort of an issue with food or something. He had dinner delivered um, and uh, he, he wound up uh, kind of um, running into a situation where he wasn't quite prepared and uh, um, he overshot, didn't miss his breaking point and came in between David and I and um, I didn't know we were three wide um, and he actually thought that he was clear um, and it, it wound up uh, spinning me out and I hit the wall. That was in the very, very first lap, um, just taking what could have been a pretty decent start and uh, turned it into chaos from the very beginning. A few off tracks uh, after that, I wound up getting uh, up to 16 incident points, had the, the black flag that I processed in my head as a stop and go. And I don't know why, because it said drive through on the screen. And uh, I stopped and stopped and uh, you don't serve the penalty. iRacing doesn't recognize it as a penalty being served if they tell you to do a drive through and you do a stop and go. So I had to exit the pits, do another lap, come in, do the drive through and then get back on, on track. Um, through some minor miracle um, of the fates, I managed to still finish second um, which is uh, stupendous um, results um, looking at this um, David Palmer drove a hell of a race given everything else that was going on he did not manage to get the pole position um, Matt did but Matt actually spun I think uh, on the first lap as well so wound up behind me which is how he wound up hitting me um, so David uh, um, didn't get pole position started second but just drove. Um, after Matt spun out, he took the lead of the race and never let it go. Zero incident race. And I tell you, um, even if there weren't, you know, uh, collision uh, incidents, um, it's a heck of a track to drive a zero incident race on because as the light changes, I mean, it's black as a tar pit um, out there on that track and you lose your, your turning markers, you lose your braking markers, you lose everything until it's right up on you. Um, so to get a zero incident race, man, good on him. Um, in fact, looking across all the classes, 
David Palmer is the only driver that drove a zero incident race tonight in all of PCA Sim Racing in the Summer Fun League. Um, and that's saying something considering some of the quality drivers up and down this field. Um, so, you know, not in pro class, not in club class, not in challenge class. He's the only driver that got a zero incident race tonight. So good on you, David. That's a job extremely well done. Um, and, uh, that, that's pretty amazing. He also got the fastest lap tonight. I couldn't capture that, um, for whatever reason. Once, once it got dark, I just, I, I lose my speed. And, um, so, um, we did have some folks that have managed to get into the 138s in the sport class. Um, before the race, um, including Matt, I think uh, um, his his qualifier was still in the 139s, but in practice he was in the 38s. Um, I had been in the 38s uh, during the uh, EDE, so um, the time is definitely there. Um, just failed to execute on that. Um, but David just drove a heck of a race and uh, performed all the way through, so he deserves the 62 points total at the two bonus points. Um, and uh, I'll take the 59 points, whether or not I deserve them. <laughs> Uh, how does this look in the championship? Well, if we actually look at the championship numbers right now with the drop races, um, David is clean of me by 10 points. Um, I am uh, clear of Keith behind me by nine points, it looks like. Um, so um, it's definitely a race. We, we definitely got some, some folks back here. Uh, Carl and Volker are looming really close to, to Keith. Um, as is uh, Avajit. So we, we have a really tight race from like six, six through position two in terms of this series. So it's still anybody's to, uh, to win. Um, we have um, three more races. Yeah, so we have race six, seven, and eight. Um, we are, um, where are we next? Let's take a quick peek. So we are at Olden Park. Oh, <laughs> Olden Park. Um, this is a tough track. It, it's 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 a weird track. It feels like out of cadence for me somehow. Like it's just not the same kind of racing that you're used to doing. Uh, the, the the just everything is a little bit off pace for me, at least when I've driven it before. Um, so it'll be an interesting, interesting race. Um, if memory serves, it doesn't have a lot of really easy places to pass. Um, so it's going to be a very tight track, tight race. Qualifying is going to be very, very important. Um, but that's next Friday. Um, and we, of course, still have um, Montreal on the 20th. And we have uh, Indy, the Oval. We're doing an Oval race. Um, if you can call a four-corner Oval, oval. Um, we'll be at Indy on the 27th. Um, that's going to be an all-timer. That should be fun. Um, if you have been holding back and haven't come out for any races yet this summer, um, and you have August 27th open on your calendar, you should just come out for the heck of it and have fun. Um, oval races are always a kick. Um, there's always unexpected surprises. Um, there's drafting, which is something that we don't get to do a whole heck of a lot. Um, there's a little bit of drafting on tracks like Spa and some others, um, but um, uh, drafting in oval fashion is a whole other animal. Um, and Indy's a tough track, um, so it should be a lot of fun. And um, we're looking forward to it. That'll be the grand finale of the Summer Fun Series. And then we kick back into um, normal PCA sim racing stuff, uh, getting into the zone challenges and, and all of that kind of stuff for the end of the year. So um, this is, uh, is going to be fun. Um, so we'll see how we do. Um, come back. Hey, if you did like this video, please find the like button. Click on that like button. And if you want to be notified of new videos when they come out, please click on subscribe. Thanks. Take care. Spaß machen Rennsport.